I, I, I like apart from the regular Marines, like I really don't particularly like any of the new ones. No. I like mm-hmm. the longer boys. Like I, I like the basic idea, but I think about a lot of the more specialist ones. I think just look a bit crappy. I just want all the boys to be long boys. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You just like long things, eh? <laughs> I like long boys. The long boys. I like the long boys. Do the shooty against the alien boys. Is is that your, your next army? Is going to be long boys. Long boys. Or is it going to be long wolf boys? Long wolf boys. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I like long wolf boys. Shall we actually start this podcast? <laughs> Hello and welcome to episode 29 of the Misanthropod. I'm Snipe and I'm joined by Whip. Say hello, boy. Why did you say that so weird? <laughs> I don't know. I'm also joined by Drummer Matt. Say hello, boy. Hello, boys. <laughs> I don't know who you two are anymore. <laughs> I just love it. It started weird and you were like, shall I stop and go back to the... No, no, fuck it. I'm going with this. <laughs> this is literally my, my whole YouTube career is, I should probably stop this. Nope, I've taken it and I'm running to fucking Mexico. <laughs> yeah. Which is impressive from, from where you are. Well, yeah, I've just got really strong legs. Ah, long legs. So how are you, Snipe? <laughs> Snipe is fine. <laughs> I don't know why I've... Yeah, uh, this is off to a great start. Okay. I'm fine, thank you very much for asking. How are you? I'm I'm okay. How are you, Matthew? I'm, I'm feckin' warm, but other than that, I can't really complain. Oh yeah, because it's like, what, like a, approximately like 72 degrees Celsius over there, isn't well, it? Well, half that, but like, yeah. <laughs> it's still, still pretty warm. It's currently 29, it gets up to 36 by the end of the day, and 38 oh, tomorrow, I think. Brutal. <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm not one to bitch about the weather, but I just can't do anything in this heat. <laughs> It's not. It's good, like huh? Australia hot. Nothing gets done. I in know. Australia. <laughs> Speaking as an Australian, no. <laughs> Nothing constructive has ever taken place in Australia ever. <laughs> no, because it's too fucking warm. We just like you just kind of sit around in like the shade with a fan on you, going. Uh... <laughs> I was already say, saying until it gets... that, say hi. I was like, uh... <laughs> <laughs> like, yep, that's the Aussie heat. That's what it does to you. As long as you don't go tropo. Yep, yeah, I, I should be alright. I've got plenty of water. So I think I'm yeah, probably keep, safe. Yeah. Just, just keep, just keep, keep sane. Yep. Keep as sane as you can, because <laughs> you, yeah. So what do we have on the docket today? Well, we could talk about that new 40k stuff. Ah, oh, yes, yes. About the long boys. The lo- they are long boys. <laughs> they are long boys. <laughs> okay, so um, if you are not aware, uh, the new edition of uh, 40k is coming out on the 17th of June. Good month. Going up for pre-order on the 3rd of June. Mm-hmm. And they've revealed everything that's in it, so we finally got a good look at all the models that are going to be in it. And like the long boys, like the long I, boys, I from Aris Marines, big Marines. I prefer big Marines. I like long boys. So yeah, all they are um, are they're like regular Marines, but they're they're bigger. They look a lot like the true scale they Marines do. that people have been making for a long time. I like true scale, so I don't have that much of a problem. But the thing is, it's not like a standard like space Marine replacement. It's just oh, these are just different. Yeah, they, they different, are different, like marines. So it's just weird. Yeah, they they are canonically bigger, better marines. Uh, they're, they're shoju marines. They're sort of, sort of. The only thing is, like looking at the models now, like, I'm when I just saw one Primaris marine, I really liked it because it was like, oh, it's just like a true scale marine. But now I've seen like the whole box set, I'm like, I really don't like. Like, most of them. No, honestly, yeah. I, I like how they look like you hold up a model and go, yeah, this looks good. But I'm thinking of, like, mixing it in with Terminators and, and like, normal Marine Boys. And it feels like that would look really mm. kind of stupid. Yeah, just And a bit, bit kind of looks like you've got different things from different, like, packages. and just, You know when you mix Lego and Duplo? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's kind of what I'm getting at. I mean, the, the biggest thing I feel is that they don't look like they belong... Oh, not all of them. Some some of them look fine, but some of them don't look like they belong in 40k at all. Mm, which ones? Um, specifically, um, I can't remember what they're called. Uh, interceptors, I think they're called. The kind of assault marine mm. type ones. They've been radically redesigned from like what we think of as assault marines, and 
they've kind of softened all the edges, like the the pauldrons. Oh, yeah. Are, you know, the pauldrons are smaller. There's less harsh lines on them. They, what they you really... know, honestly, when I saw those, I thought they would look more at home in 30k armies. They they do look a bit like that kind of era of the uh, Mechanicum stuff. Well, I say I, it looks closer to the 30k aesthetic than it does the 40k. Oh yeah, aesthetic. well, well, the whole uh, Primaris armor is based, you know, it's they've taken the helmets from Mark IV and stuff. Mm. But I don't, I'm not even talking about that. I mean, it doesn't look like it belongs in Warhammer at all. Does it belong mm. in War Machine? Kind of look. Uh, reminds me actually more of um, Dead Zone. Okay, yeah, 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 what yeah, actually, yeah, yeah. I see that. I get you. Like, uh, the, the the best description I can think of is, to me, they look like an enemy character from a mid-2000s Japanese PS2 game. It's not oddly specific. But... I know. Oddly specific, but I actually kind of <laughs> yeah, get, get vaguely what you mean. It's like that sort of era of sci-fi design. And it's, I don't know, it just doesn't look like it belongs in the very bulky, archaic, 40k kind of, like, style where yeah. everything's shit and they've not invented anything new in years. Yeah. <laughs> what I do like about those, what are they called? The Assault Marine equivalent. Um, I don't know what the new name is. I think it's Interceptors. Interceptors. I, yeah. I like their stumpy yeah. little shield around their little guns. Oh, yeah. <laughs> because it's obviously yeah. you can't block bullets suits. with that. Which suggests, usually you have a handguard on a sword, right, to stop people slicing down the sword and hitting your hand. Which suggests they're going to yeah. get, like, basically start punching people with those guns, which I just like the idea of. <laughs> Yeah, gun swords. Yeah. Or maybe Obviously. they've just maybe it's just to hide the uh, the muzzle flash because they've just got all, really got sensitive eyes. Yeah, uh, maybe. Yeah. I I mean, sure. <laughs> yeah, I just like the <laughs> idea fine. of like gun shaped um, knuckle dusters, basically, in my head. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> there's no other reason but, but, to have like a little shield there, right? So. I mean, not that I can think of. I mean, let me have a look at it again. Hang on, let me bring it up now. Yeah, I'll do the same. This is highly professional. Done our research. Nice. Oh, absolutely. Gunsh- um, it just looks like maybe the moldings fucked and they went with it, <laughs> <laughs> um, which you know it's not really that much of an, a massive issue anymore. But yeah, I- <sighs> hmm. Yeah, like I said, I'm I'm just not really sold on them and like the. I don't. I know. I'm not. Well, like the, the little. I've noticed they've got like little um, portal style springy feet things, so you can land jumps better. Do the assault marines have that? No, I don't remember. No. Yeah, I quite like those actually. That's quite cool. I like it how raptors have like little spiky feet though. Yeah, raptors do. And there's also feet. the uh, gravis armor that's like a kind of oh, yeah. halfway between terminator and regular power armor. Yeah. Uh, which yeah, again like also uh, this is this is a really me thing, but it really bugs me on the uh, on the guy's sword how the skull is upside down on the captain's sword. I, I think that depends on how you consider to be up or down. Well, if on... you look at everything else, everything else, and like, so he's got like this, he's got a lot of skulls on him. Yeah. And they're all the right way up from the person viewing. Yeah. Whereas that sword is only up, he's holding it straight up in the air, and the sword is upright. Yeah, but he's he's to never going to put that sword it. down, though. That's how he holds it all the time. But yeah, <laughs> it's, it's the right way up by default. <laughs> it's not. He, he's not going to hit well, anyone. No, I'm, it. just... Okay, I'm talking about like, okay, on other models. They have the skulls the other way around. I don't think they do. I'm pretty sure they do. Uh, on a lot of them, they do have them that way around. I'm pretty sure they don't. I'm pretty sure they do. <laughs> mm, pretty sure they don't. You know, I'm going to grab a model. Look what you've done. You've, <laughs> you've disrupted the podcast. <laughs> Look, I'm not saying that some of the ones you've got won't be like that, because because they uh-huh. probably will, but I'm saying that not all of them are like that. It's not a consistent thing. Uh-huh. I'm trying to find one with a fucking sword out. Are we really doing this? Yes. <laughs> Is it, okay, meanwhile... Meanwhile, so that the um, Gravis guy is in like big almost Terminator you know arm, but not quite. Yeah, leads me the question: yeah, like, where do these slot okay, in? To... I can either confirm nor no. deny that, but <laughs> it is in that instance, and I'm not sure why it drew my eye and bugged okay, me. Well, I'm sure okay. someone will find out and we'll post it in the comments somewhere. Oh, someone, so, someone will get one over on yeah, me. Well, hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> well, we both think you're wrong. So, so well, actually, I, I don't. I honestly don't know. Knowing Games Workshop, I'm willing to bet it'll be about half and half. Because yeah, probably. It, it, it probably will be, yeah. Or lack of. Um, so, you've got the big marines, and you've got the sort of big Terminator armour, but not quite. So where do these, like, just the normal big marines, where do they slot between normal power armour and Terminator armour? Are these kind of somewhere in between? Uh, it's, well, like, it, officially not because the rules aren't out yet, I don't think. Well, officially, it's Mark Ten armor, so it's it, it is just considered to be the ni- next Did we okay. skip evolution. The mark? Y- yeah, app- um, uh, apparently, Forty uh, K Theories did a video about this the other day. And okay. I haven't watched it yet. Well, they'll know better than me. So, yeah. 
Um, but yeah, it's Mark Ten armor, so it's just the next evolution oh, of regular okay, power armor. Okay. So apparently, all the Marines are being engineered now to have long legs. So are they, yeah, long, have so long. So is it going to get to the point where that we're not going to have normal Space Marines anymore? We're going to have mm, all big uh, Marines. Well, officially, that's not supposed to be the case. But but the fact that there's a new box set and literally every guy who comes in it is a Primaris Marine. Yeah. Mm. yeah. It's not looking hopeful. Yeah, and also the um, the Nurgle Marines that come in the box set as well are the same size as them. So I hate the way they look. Yeah, I They're hate them. They're a mess. The new Nurgle oh, are they, so they got, are like... Are they based on the same armour then? Uh, well, not based on the same armour, but the same, same scale. scale. Oh yeah, so does that mean that... They've just invented this new armor, and then immediately some of the new marines have been corrupted. Yeah. I think it's more a case of that they're trying to represent how chaos marines that have been chaos for possibly 10,000 years are supposed to be, like, fucking powerhouses. Yeah, okay, fair enough. So they, they have, through chaos, um, like, gifts, become as powerful as the primary okay, marines. Okay, fair enough. I, I think, that, I think yeah, that's what okay. they're going for. Yeah, no. But yeah, they, they look really over-designed to me. Like, I there's mean, just like, too I much get, shit on them. Yeah, I get they're supposed to be look, looking, like, horribly plaguey and all that, but it just, it's messy. Because, like, you it's can't... very visually noisy. Yeah, it's like they can't just let, like, kind of nice, mm. smooth lines kind of show up. I like the to, guy like, in the, um... Yeah. Mm. I guess we should probably link this, um page that you sent me the warhammer community one but it's a, oh, it's a photo of, of the one two three four five six seven chaos marines i like the guy in the top right he's got like a steampunk like chimney on his back i quite like that guy yeah that's pretty cool yeah but well, then yeah a taken by himself but then there's, there's viewed, a as a whole, viewed as a whole it's a little bit all over the place it's a bit overwhelming yeah i think that's the thing like indiv- individual ones are like the regular nurgle dark guys look some of them look look pretty decent, but yeah, just as a whole, they're just so messy. I can't believe they managed to get, like, the Square Enix designers on board <laughs> for this pack as well. I'm so... I'm, oh, I'm no, so it's, surprised. It's not got enough wings. It needs more belt buckles as belt well. Belt buckles and wings, yeah. Mm. But yes, yeah, so, I mean, that's that's coming out on the uh, like, on the 17th. I like, and I, I will... I will say, I, I will reserve judgment, like, on the models overall. Because like, I'm, I'm bitching about them, but... I'll wait until I see them in person yeah. because I remember the same thing happened with the Storm Raven model. Like I thought it looked like shit when, oh, in it's pictures. Gorgeous, though in person. Yeah, you see it in person and it's really nice. Um, yeah. So I'm I'm hoping that they're kind of like that. That once I actually see them in person, it's like okay, these actually look quite good. Yeah. It's merely just the paint scheme they chose. Yeah. Or well, I mean, you immediately judge them when they're yeah. Ultramarines, right? So it's hard to judge. Not, properly. Yeah. There is that too. There is that. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, my final comment on it, which needs no follow-up, is that I like the big bell end. Yeah, I no, see. That's, that's fine. You like you like the long boys with the bell ends. Okay. Long boys with the big bells. Yeah. yeah, that's just what drummer Matt likes, and that's okay. That's okay, that's fine. Okay, shall we move on to uh, swiftly? So move on swiftly to uh, to our own individual topics. I mean, I guess. So, Matthew, what yes. do you have to tell us about this week? Um, not too much, as always. <laughs> Had more. Oh, <laughs> oh my! Hang on, let me, let me just sit down. Oof. I know, I know. With May, May is the month of visits. We had a visit, and then a few days off, and then another visit for a week, and then a few days off. That now, and then in a few days, we've got another visit. So, I mean, we did send out inv- invitations to everyone, so it's our own fault. But yeah, but would you say that it's quite busy, much to your dismay? <laughs> oh, dismay! Because oh. <laughs> it's the Good month. May, yeah. 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 Yes, I would agree with that. <laughs> um, okay, that's fair. <laughs> a bit of time to do a few bits. Mostly, I've been get finally getting stuck into Overwatch. I had a good few days. Nice. I'm only level ten, so I haven't been playing that long. Um, compared to your 425, or whatever it is you are. 420 hours. Which is <clears throat> every day. Yeah, because I mean, well, it's hard. It's weird when you look at my stats. I can't see how long I've been playing for because your playing time only counts. Um, the basic find a game, whatever mode it's called. Yeah. Quick, quick play. play. It doesn't count the arcade modes. Mm, like people have been complaining weird. and asking for Cause, stats. Cause so there's no, on, they, a, on a drop down, you can good. get drop down for um, quick play or get drop down for versus AI, but there's no drop down mm. option to see your stats for the it's arcade. It's competitive as well once you get okay. level 20 But there's 25. no, and I was like, well, I've done a fair bit of, well, for starters, because I was trying to get the, um, so does it work that you've got the few modes where you get a loot crate? straight mm-hmm. away does that reset every day i know there's like a nine you have to get in a week or whatever 
No, I, I think those are once per week. Once well, per I mean, week. I think oh, it so might no, just be the event thing. Actually. Yeah, it's not once per week. You get it once per oh, event. Okay, fair yeah. But I was trying to get the one for the 1v1. But having having mm. played, like, four characters, the one where you only get to choose between three, and every single time it's not the one that I've ever played with before. <laughs> that yeah, took, no. actually, to be fair, it only took three, three goes to actually win that. So it wasn't too bad. But... See, I had an intro. I, I played that earlier today to, to get the crate. And I had a weird game where... Every match, I either got killed instantly or killed every single person of the other team. That was a weird match. It was a weird match. Oh, is it? It's the three v three one. Yeah. Okay. okay yeah. Like I like the, the two. Uh, we had four, it was four rounds. Two rounds, I got killed within seconds, and the other two, I was the one that killed every single person on the <laughs> other team. It was a weird I match. Like yeah. The three v three is very good for um, Torbjorn. Oh yeah. god! Yeah. You, oh god! That, that you was, monster! That <laughs> um, to be fair, that was on like the fourth, like the third one, because you, you can't choose your same heroes again once you win. So I was winning out, and he was the yeah. only one left that I played with. So I was like, "Well, I'm going to yeah. have to go with him." Well, that's fair. That's fair. Yeah, yeah. yeah so I've been quite enjoying it. It's still a bit of a clusterfuck in terms of how much stuff there is going on at once, and then oh, different yeah. modes and different everythings, which I think it's is a bit of, of a disadvantage for not starting at the start. Speaking but, of mayhem, have you tried Total Mayhem yet? No, I have not because I, oh. because I'm a bit overwhelmed by the mayhem without going into the mode specifically called Total Mayhem. <laughs> it's 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 a fucking yeah. I, right, oh. I worked out you can actually right click on them or whatever you do to see what the modes are, which was a bit yeah, of a bonus. Yeah. Because I was like, oh, that's what we're meant to be doing. <laughs> um, oh, you poor bugger! But uh, no, I'm glad you're getting yeah, into it, dude. That's I've been playing awesome. with a few few different heroes. Hmm. Play a bit of time. I think the longest I've spent with Diva. She seems pretty cool. I've been basically trying to go for the ones that have got the least nonsense going on to try and just learn the maps and things before I have to be like... And you yeah. pick you pick Diva, the one who's literally the, the character who breaks the game. Really? Yeah, like they, there was a... Uh, I think it was like a couple of weeks ago, they had to block her out on, in all regions, so in, no matter what mode you were playing, you what? couldn't access Why? her. Because something... A weird bug was happening where... I can't remember what how you did it or whatever but it would basically crash the, the game oh, or the well, server okay. it would crash it would just crash overwatch just completely yeah it would just completely crash i mean overwatch. um jeff kaplan uh the um well, what's he was his his position at blizzard oh he's part of the overwatch team yeah but he do, he does a lot of the um the public relations okay. kind of facing stuff but he came, he did a, a thing where he was like uh, giving facts about um overwatch characters and in of diva was saying that she's the one that breaks everything all the time <laughs> because she's technically two characters yeah. whenever yeah. they implement something new she's the one that will break it <laughs> so well i could have told you that simply by the fact that if you put a spray down while you're in your mech and then it's the moment you burst out of your mech out of your mech, your spray disappears, which is kind of like low key t- showing you that, that you've changed character. Yeah. Mm. So, yeah, I kind of noticed that, you know, because I'm so good at noticing things. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, it's taken me all this time to realize, but she's actually very similar to Samus in, in Smash Brothers once they introduced Zero Suit Samus, because Samus, when using her uh, like super smash ability, she breaks out of her suit. Yeah, she destro- her suit gets destroyed by the blast. And then if she and she has to get a novel, get basically get her ultimate back to get her suit back and place a zero suit Samus in the in between. I never noticed that before. No, it's very yeah, similar. Like, Mei Ling, yeah. Samus took all of her clothes off. I bet I could catch her if I took all my clothes off. <laughs> I oh, I miss that. I wish like Nintendo hadn't dropped the ball on that and we could still play it. Oh yeah, that, that, this is a very specific problem, um, <laughs> but. Um, we have our our Nintendo Wii is one of the early ones, and the early ones have a, have trouble reading like double layer DVDs. Smash Brothers Brawl was one of the first double layer DVD ah. um, Wii games, and so it's basically impossible for us to get it working anymore oh. on yep. our Wii. So that sucks. Yeah. Oh, there is is one thing I I, I forgot to mention the 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 forty k thing. I just briefly uh, bring up. Um, because I just thought about it. Uh, yeah, we mentioned a couple of weeks back about the rules going free. Well, the rules are sort of <laughs> <Yeah>. free. <laughs> um, the main core rules are free, but it seems the equivalent of codexes... Indexes? Which are called indexes now, presumably because they got fed up of people telling them that they were saying codices wrong. <laughs> um, so is the plural of index 
indexes. Indices. I know, I know, but is the Games Workshop plural of index indexes? Oh, I think yeah, I think oh. they are going for indexes, and isn't indice in? Oh, fuck yeah, no. they've had yeah. they've not they've not used this opportunity to fix a problem. I'm guessing. <laughs> <laughs> they've just they, moved it they, along. Oh my god! That Indices, is, that is yeah. so Games Workshop. <laughs> that is the definition of Games Workshop. <laughs> but now, hopefully, it'll all be good and everything yeah. will look really cool in person. I remain warily hopeful. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm still be tempted to pick up some Primaris Marines. Just I like general, I like the but... Long Boys. Yeah. They're fun. But anyway, anything else you had to say? Um. Matthew? No, no, I'm just yeah, spending Overwatch time getting stuck in and trying to learn and not be too far behind the curve. <laughs> we'll have to play later yeah. if you want. I've almost understood the awesome. modes and the fact that you queue for one game, but then you get another game where you're waiting and all that sort of stuff, which just blew my mind the first time. I was like, so is this the game we're queuing for? Is this a different game? And if we're queuing for a different game, why doesn't it just put these people into the game I'm queuing for? Rather than this, I was like, what? <laughs> like, okay, so for those, for the uninitiated, uh, you can turn the thing on, which is skirmish mode, where if your if your game is taking a particularly long time to, to find other people to play with, it'll pop you into skirmish, which is basically like, here's a map, there's no objectives, fuck around, until you find a match and then it puts you into a proper one. I can understand how this would be fucking massively confusing <laughs> to anyone. Especially, because uh, I think the first time it happened to you when we were playing, it put you into a skirmish, and then after the skirmish, it put us into the proper game, but... It was one of those games where it was still waiting for players, so it had a kind of pseudo skirmish before the actual game as well. So you had to pick a character three times to get into a real game. I just remember Drummer Matt screaming. <laughs> like, what is happening? It's like, why do I have to keep doing this? Why is the game restarted three times? Well, it's not on the same map as well. I think it so might it was have been extra there. confusion. There. No idea. You poor. But I think bugger. I've got I've got just about used to all the stuff that's going on. Yeah. Um, Have you got any of the funky anniversary dancing emotes yet? Uh, I don't know. I got a cool skin for uh, Bastion. It was one of the like three thousand monies one. I think it was one of the. Oh, oh shit, ones, dude! Nice. Cool. It's like yeah, it's one of the legendary ones for this uh, for this event. So that was quite nice cool. One. Oh my, like four boxes yeah. I opened. So or whatever. Yeah, you've, you've we, well, you've got exactly exactly one hundred percent more legendary skins than we've got <laughs> for for this event. From this anyway. event, yeah. Hmm. It's a nice one. So that was quite cool. So I've been play- I played with him quite a lot after that because I was like, ooh, new skin. <laughs> I was like, oh, I can see how this gets addictive. <laughs> oh, yeah. Immediately yeah. see how this gets addictive. It's dangerous, isn't it? <laughs> it's like skins don't matter, but, but, but also, they matter. But you, st- you still want yeah. them. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. <laughs> I'm happy because I got my Black Watch McCree. Where oh, did you? McCree is, yeah. I got him and I was just, it was perfect. And I didn't even have to buy him. I got him in a loot box and I was just like... <sighs> Finally, a massive goth McCree, so I can really fit into his role. <laughs> nice. Oh, it made me. It made me very. See, happy. I haven't bothered learning playing McCree yet because I know if I ever play with you, I won't be able to beat him. So. Well, if you ever play with me, I'm gonna. Yeah, exactly. So I'll be like, no, 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 no point. Mine. <laughs> well, since I effectively main diva now, you've already screwed me. Oh, really? Uh, well, I haven't. I haven't worked out a main yet. I've been. Well, you can play Lucio. Let poor Matt have diva. He's not having McCree though. <laughs> because I reserve the right to be massively stubborn, but <laughs> anything else that did? No, no. Oh, uh, I've watched a TV series. It's not a particularly nerdy TV series, but it's one that oh. Ruth hmm? it, the Get Down. Haven't heard of it. It's a Netflix one set in 1970s New York when like hip hop is just sort of developing, and they're just sort of the first people like Grandmaster Flash and the first few people are, are doing the whole two records of the same thing and then playing the same bit ongoing basically to get a hip hop beat going so they play like okay. the, the bridge section or whatever of a record and then while well, that's playing line up the same section on the other disc which is how originally they got the sort of hip hop beats going from like disco mm. tracks or whatever else it was and it's sort of a Shit. sort of history but it's not a documentary it's like a drama type thing about a group of with a lot of like true historical doing it. but yeah it's, it's really good yeah. it's only like six episodes the first part and then the Ruth watched it when it came out and then the second part it's season two, but it's called part two because Netflix are doing, I don't know, Netflix. Netflix that are doing Netflix. That came out and we were like, oh, I want to watch it. I was like, oh, I want to watch it too, but I've got to watch the first part first. And then <laughs> that's been like that for the last half minute since it came out like a few months ago. <laughs> but Ruth's been away in that's... Paris for the last few days. So I spent the last few days just watching, watching that. And it's actually, it's, yeah, it's good. It's, okay, uh, it yeah, is. it's all like, yeah, it's got lots of old footage from like the seventies and the music in it is excellent. It's got mm. lots of like, disco and then lots of like early hip hop stuff and things Heck in, yeah. <laughs> and it's like it's not like because i do really like hip hop but i don't like the sort of gangster side of it with the whole you know 
basically completely misogynistic, like offensive lyrics. Like, a lot yeah. of it can get like that, and it's like, oh, really? But like this, mm. at one point, the, like the the main um, lyric writer, rapper guy, like comes up with something and says like, motherfucking. And everyone, everyone else in his like little group is like, whoa, 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 you can't swear. <laughs> So they end up having to think about what to do and that. Oh, but the lyric fits so well. And they're like, hang on, hang on. The DJ goes, hang on. And then puts like, he starts doing it and then puts like a D- record scratch in the bit where he swears and like, perfect. So it's and I was like, oh, bless you, innocent, sweet guys. That's so lovely. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. They would not know where rap would go no. after this. So. Yeah, yes. You I'd, can't say the F word. I recommend just for a bit of, if anyone's into sort of hip hop type stuff or just interested as to sort of how it came. Cause it's all set in like the Bronx when... New York mm. was basically a complete shithole, especially, like, out of Manhattan. And, like, they had no money yeah. and the power was going off and, like, people were basically burning down buildings to get the insurance money on them and things. Mm. And it's, like, mm. it's a massive far cry from, like, New York now. I mean, even in, like, outside Manhattan now, it's not as, you know, upscale, but it's still nice and things. And But like, in the 70s, man... It, it, if you weren't people who are old enough to remember, I guess no. But like someone I was our age who wasn't alive then, didn't realise how bad it was. Yeah. And it's yeah, it's really yeah. And I guess a lot of people listening to this are going to be even younger. Than yeah, us, exactly. So, so. Mm-hmm. you guys probably shouldn't listen to this. It's bad. <laughs> but yeah, no, it's really good. It's only the first season's only six episodes. I think I think they are an hour. But yeah, it's it was. Well, good that fun. sounds cool. No, we'll have to have a look at what's what's it called uh, again. The Get Down. The Get Down. Yeah, gotcha. it's one of the Netflix. Oh, yeah. Netflix, man. I think it's just because they don't have to play by like TV rules. I'm quite enjoying mm. quite a lot of the stuff that they they've done. I mean, to be honest, they've released so much stuff recently. They're bound to oh, they're yeah. bound to hit a few of them. But mm. yeah, no, I would recommend. Although it's not at all oh, gaming cool. or nerd related or whatever else this podcast claims <laughs> to vaguely be, but yeah, uh, whatever it is we claim to yeah. be. I, I believe the official tagline that I wrote in many moons ago was a podcast about video games, except when it isn't. Yeah, which is quite that's, a lot of the time. That's fair. Yeah, yeah. but no, that's me doing. I'm afraid so I'm okay. ready to listen to your whatever pearls of wisdom you guys have. <laughs> <laughs> no pressure. Oh, you're funny. You're funny guy. I kill you last. Well, do you want to go and go first? Yeah, then, yeah, yeah, I'll go first. I've been playing Diablo 3. Ah, I saw yesterday when you weren't re- when I was trying to play Overwatch with you and you weren't replying to me. Okay, that is not <laughs> fair. Okay, it did not alert me that you were saying yeah. anything. To be fair, I only said hi so, and then logged off like 10 minutes later, so... No, no, you said, you said, hi, how you doing? Oh, it's like that, is it? And then you logged yeah. off. <laughs> Gave you and about two like, oh, minutes shit. in between. <laughs> and then you sent a picture of a dead dog to a phone. I mean, seriously, why did you do that? <laughs> yeah, mate, what the fuck? Oh, now you made me sad. <laughs> oh, no, actually, I'm sad. Don't worry, it wasn't real. It was fake for a movie. Okay. Oh, but that imp- oh, but that was just remind. Okay. <laughs> okay I'm Don't gonna talk think about, about it. No. Don't think about it too much. No. Diablo 3. Yeah, Diablo 3. Were you, were you okay. just playing it to get an Overwatch skin? <laughs> <laughs> I mean that in the nicest way. That wasn't meant to be... You know, I had breakfast this morning without the uh, the promise of an Overwatch skin. I do do things outside Overwatch, you know. You f- the fucking shade. You complete fuck. I mean, to be fair, the last time we had a conversation about a Blizzard game, it was because you were playing it to get an Overwatch skin. It would have been great if that what if it that if was the reason. Been. It's like yes. <laughs> <laughs> Although, technically, I guess it kind of was because the only reason you got interested in Diablo was because you've been playing Heroes of the Storm, and the only reason you started playing Heroes of the Storm was for <laughs> Overwatch. Skin. That is like okay, you know how there's like the bacon number. That's the Overwatch skin number. Yeah. Eventually, all actions in life lead back to Overwatch skins. Only if I do them, apparently. I went down to the shops. Yes, you went down to the shops because you drank all of your cordial and be- trying to play and get an Overwatch yeah. skin. That's why you need to get more cordial. Ah. <laughs> fucking, it's fucking exposed. Although, skin number sounds even worse than bacon number. <laughs> yeah. <Skin. laughs> I actually kind of prefer it. How many actions divorced from uh, from playing people. Overwatch? Yeah. Is it before you were? Uh... <laughs> Fuck it. Anyway, Diablo three. Mm. Yes. I've never, I've never that. played. Is is it free nowadays? It's it. You can get the starter edition. So you can kind of play a little bit of it. I don't know what parts that cuts out. Mm. Okay. A friend of mine bought, bought, bought it me. And I've been playing that. I think I've got up to like level 20. It's I, I kind of like it. It's a nice chill kind of game. 
Uh, you start off, like, you pick a character. You can't, like, customize them, really, or anything. You just pick, like... But I picked a female barbarian, because of course I did. Yeah. Because, yeah, as Matt said, I got into it because I've been playing HOTS, and I really like Sonya from from Diablo, like, like the way she plays in HOTS, and I was like, the characters seem really cool from Diablo, so I want to go give that a go. And yeah, it's like I, I was initially very shocked because of how crap it looked in comparison. <laughs> I was like, whoa, <laughs> well, old now, polygons. Right? It's it's old now, yeah. Well, it's pretty old, I think. Yeah, I mean, it's getting on. And the thing is, like, the game is very different to how it released. Because, I mean, well, when I've it released... It, was, it released, it was fucking awful. Well, when it released, it didn't work. That was the thing. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I've heard. You couldn't connect to the server. Like, that went on its own. loot problems and all that kind of stuff. It had the real money auction house, which yes. was a whole fucking thing. Mm-hmm. And that's all been removed, and things have been retooled since its original release. Yeah, so. and I'm actually, it's like I say, it's it's a nice, fun little chill game. It's it kind of reminds me a lot of WoW in the way that you know you have the hot bar, and you've only got really like four. I've got four abilities now. I'm level twenty, but you can kind of swap them out for other other abilities. But you get four abilities at like one time, and I've just been rocking through, murdering everything with utmost prejudice because I'm just a big tough barbarian woman, <laughs> and like getting loot and. It, yeah, it's just a nice little relaxing game, and I really like it with the story because your character actually has spoken lines. Oh, cool. See, I didn't realize there was. A st- I thought it was just a you go into a bit and you murder everyone, and get their loot, and then go into the next bit with harder baddies. Which I mean, I know technically it's like basically all games. That's kind of what it but, is, but there is a story. Uh, okay, I, so. I, I didn't realize there was actually much of a story. I thought, which is mm. what put me off playing it to be honest. Because I thought, oh, I was yeah, kind of, well, I mean, like. Yeah. I'm quite a fan of the way they do the intros, like like the, the um uh, like the story kind of movies, because they're kind of all very still kind of like drawings, okay. like with with narration over it. Oh, sort of like a motion comic, kind, kind of, of like that, yeah. And like it starts out, and my barbarian woman's like, "Oh, I was driven from my my home, and you know, I saw a star fall, and I have to chase the star. I can't remember why she's chasing because it's something mystical and awesome." And so you you eventually go to the star and you find out. I'm not not going to spoil much, even though it's like the first like couple of hours. But yeah, and you find the star, and it kind of leads on like this quest. And you're like, okay, well I've got to go find X and find Y and talk to this person and figure out who this person is and and things like that. And yeah, there's a lot of dungeon crawling in it, which is that's nice. It's fun. You get oh, lots of loot and you know stamp on stuff and explode many skeletons. It's very fun. <laughs> I mean, sometimes playing a game that's like it's. I mean, I don't. I don't want to say uh, say it's simple, but a game that's not overly it's, complex. It's pretty straightforward. Yeah, and it's, that's quite relaxing. Yeah, you you can. It, I mean, unlike like I mean, the other game you've been playing was was Heroes of the Storm, and mm. well, that's that's a, that's a MOBA, so. Oof. There's there's automatically a level of stress involved in playing such a game. Absolutely. I mean, I usually play... I'm just... I old woman play that game because I'm just like, I just want to relax. So I'll just play against AI. Yeah. I'm mm. just like, I'm just I'm just here having fun. <laughs> I like my little lady with the spinny blades. I think she's lovely. Well, you didn't, didn't you have to play a bunch of actual proper, <laughs> I... proper matches to get shit. the Overwatch shit? Okay, so the Nexus 2.0 challenge, which was to get Officer Diva and a bunch of other stuff, mm. and then at the, the last week had like 10 mm. loot boxes for each game so 10 in hots 10 in overwatch first one for the oni genji stuff that they they like redid um you had to play just five matches with a friend any matches at all so that could be versus ai everything from then on was five matches in at least quick play so you've played at least 15 games against human beings i've also helped out like a couple of friends get theirs as oh. well. So I've played oh. probably a billion. Is, is that event over now? I don't know. I think it Where might do you be. see about... This is going back to um, Overwatch, but it's the thing I can relate to at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> where do you see where do you see where those things... Where does it tell you that these are things that you can do? Oh, on the... You know, on the Battle.net desktop application? Yes. It usually has like a cycle of news oh, going okay. through. Oh, okay. It tells you on there. So yeah, it'll do that. Same oh, okay, I'll, but I'll I mean, keep an eye out. they will. There will be another Nexus challenge because they desperately like want people to play their mobile. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when that rolls around, I'll drag yeah, your ass yeah, along yeah, for okay. it. How's that yeah, sound? Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> you have to give me a day or two's notice does... to download it. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> so how how did it feel to actually play a MOBA in its in its correct setting online and everything? Against people. Honestly, I didn't fucking care much. Like, I mean, I usually get, like, I'm very, very aggressively competitive. Like, you know how I get. <laughs> yes. 
Usually, usually <laughs> competitive almost with yourself more than other people. I, I am my own worst enemy. Yeah. And, get, uh, and I will get so angry because, well, that's not the best run I've ever had. Yes, I got 38 kills in this as McCree, and 70 of which were headshots, but that's not as good <laughs> as I think I should have been. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, and like, in, in HOTS, I just don't give a fuck. I mean, I'll try, and I'll try hard, but if we fuck up, I don't really care. Mm. Eh. It's like I was playing with, uh, with, with, with a friend of mine in America, and um, I was kind of accidentally smurfing. Because, like, I'm, like, level... F- ne- I'm nearly level 50 on my European account, but I'm only, like, level 5 in America. So uh. we were playing with people who just started, and I know exactly what I'm doing. So I'm running around as Diablo wrecking people's shit, and I feel really bad about this, <laughs> but not really. <laughs> You'd feel bad, but you're playing a MOBA, and usually yeah. it's other people's job to make you feel bad in a yeah, MOBA, so... Yeah, but like, it's been... I don't think you can even communicate with the enemy team, which oh, I think that's... is a massively good yeah. idea on yeah, Blizzard's yeah. part. Holy shit. But your team can communicate with you, because of course. I've only had a few people call me a fucking moron. Which on the internet is generally a pretty yeah, good thing. Yeah, and by fucking moron, I, I was called... I was continually called a troll. When I was playing on my EU account, well, in the European region, because like I wanted to go do, I can't remember. Like the, every map has like different objectives, so like, and it's a good idea because they all have kind of lanes. So if you split off, so you, someone's always kind of got back up, and like, so you have like good lane coverage. And yeah. some characters need to like they have more lane dominance. It's I don't really understand it, but that's just stuff I've heard. Other You're talking about say. the meta. You're talking about the meta. I don't really give a fuck about the meta. Um, other people do <laughs> quite a lot, um, but no, I, like like I say, I only got encountered this a few times. But this one guy was was like just immediately called me a fucking troll, and was was like anytime I said anything, I was like ignore the fucking troll, people. He's an idiot, and I'm like yes, isn't he? Because <laughs> you know, no girls on the internet. Yeah. Oh no, none at all. No, um, I don't know. I, I, and we were doing really well, and it was I think it was versus AI. So, this is beginner AI, because I was like, I want to warm up before I go, go to a proper match, so I'm just gonna... I think I wanted to try out a new character or something as well. So I was like, yeah, I'll versus AI, and this guy's going fucking ballistic because I'm not going exactly <laughs> where he's telling me to, and then when I'm like, mate, it's versus AI, he's like, you fucking troll, I don't have to listen to this. <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> okay. But yeah, he's been like the... That, that person was the worst that I encountered. You should add him oh, as a friend at the end of the, end of the match. <laughs> <laughs> I, oh, I should have done really, shouldn't I? But, but to be fair, then you would have been like, "Good, I'm glad. I'm glad you could feel that rampant sexual overtone in my way." Like, oh, <laughs> like it, there's going to be something dodgy if I do something that cheeky. I'm going to get smacked in the face. <laughs> I know it. But yeah, no, like I think it was probably because the Nexus challenge was on, and a lot of people were just kind of like, "It's going to be sucky for a while." Yeah, I mean, I, I'm kind of... Because people are coming in for the Overwatch skins, just brace and let it let it happen. Yeah, it's like when you put a game you play has a free weekend. It's like Overwatch is free weekend, 26, this weekend, which I... Like, this is going up on Monday, so I hope everyone had a nice free weekend of Overwatch. This goes up on Sunday. <laughs> this goes up on Sunday. Okay, there's like barely one day left, you guys. <laughs> but yeah, so it's like this weekend's probably... I mean, we're, I don't think we'll be encountering them because we're like level 420 because we play every day. <laughs> So I don't think we'll really encounter anyone like that. So what? Oh, uh, just your four twenty thing. <laughs> but it's because we play nearly every day. Play games every day. <laughs> play Overwatch every day. Yeah. Do it for the skins. Mm. So apart from uh, Blizzard stuff, <laughs> unless unless there's anything more. Maybe, uh, no, I just I, I like I like Diablo. It's a mm. nice, fun, chill out game. And Hots, I begrudgingly kind of got into. Are you on there? Because it's 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 a nice another fun chill out game. Because mm. I play versus AI and then I got called a fucking troll. <laughs> yeah. That's okay because I don't. Is care. there a, is Diablo multiplayer or is that just by yourself? Oh, uh, you can you can like party up in in Diablo. So yeah, if you if you want to try out Diablo, no, I'll, I'll ne- come next hang time out I can get you. some Overwatch skins. From it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you can get them from Diablo, but from Hots. For sure. Although I think but Hots, I think is completely free to play. I think you might have got some things in Diablo from the version of Overwatch. I know I did because what? I got Mercy Wings. Mm. Yeah, I think that was yeah. It, oh yeah, because um, that was the that was the uh, the collector's edition we got. So I got Mercy Wing, like just like fancy show off 
uh, cosmetic gear. Yeah. And I also got like a thing, uh, like a portrait ring that's like the Overwatch logo. Yeah. Just it, like a couple of little things. It's kind of good now that you're playing like most of the, the Blizzard games because whenever we, we do end up <laughs> buying something or get bought something <laughs> that's Blizzard related, it usually comes with freebies yeah. for games we don't give a shit about. <laughs> this is true. Are you, are you still on the WoWcraft as well? On Blizzard? Yeah, I'm still on the WoWcraft. Uh, yeah. Can you play that? Do you I'm, get any I'm... free Overwatch stuff by playing that? <laughs> Why are you going to renew your subscription? Well, I mean... <laughs> I don't believe you do. I'm you afraid. don't, no. And also, I don't have the newest version of Warcraft, I don't think. And it's still... You don't have Legion? No, and it's still... I haven't, yeah. so I've not played Legion yet. I don't even know what yeah. you get in Legion, to be honest. Is there new races? Or uh, classes? No, or... you get you get Demon Hunter. That's the new class. Okay. Which is like, uh, like leather-wearing agility. Okay. Because that's apparently the only thing Blizzard know. Because <laughs> that last one, Monk, and that was exactly the fucking same. Yeah, and yeah, I, Druid and I already have that as well. I already have leather clad dancing around. Yeah, exactly. I, 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 I boosted a rogue as well recently. Because just main, mainly for RP reasons. Hmm. Because that's mainly what I do now, is I, just, I do world quests and roleplay. Because yeah. I'm garbage. Uh, oh, that's what I was going to say. So you're enjoying Diablo. Mm-hmm. But that's just a dungeon crawly nonsense, isn't it? Right? Yeah. So that's what you don't like yeah, in the role playing side of things, or what you like. No, no, least. I love role playing. Yeah, exactly. But there's that's why because I've not been running, not been thinking too much about just a dungeon delvey D and D thing because I know you guys are oh, more dude. into the role play type side of things. Tabletop and video games worlds yeah, apart. I mean, yeah, yeah. I just want to role play. I don't mind doing the like. I don't mind doing dungeons and like tabletop D and D. But like when it comes to like the the like video game RPG, I I'm just like yeah, I'll just go and get that loot that's like a few points better. I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> just yeah. just for the record, I have no issue uh, if you ever want to make yeah, no, it might have the D campaign about bit, just like so murdering yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, just to, yeah. Just no, to I to honestly do what you want. I'll I'll as long as you don't mind me just role playing myself <laughs> into a paper bag. I don't care. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no. That's... I I will role play with yes. like, with everything until I just implode. Yeah. I if it just right. gets to a week where I'm particularly knackered and can't be bothered to do the whole RP side of NPCs, I'd be like, right, there's a dungeon yeah. here, and you need to go and get this thing from it. Okay. <laughs> just go fight fifty fucking Gorvils. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> go fight a Tarask. Okay. <laughs> right. Okay. <laughs> that's the thing that we can do. That probably will end perfectly well. Mm, yeah. Uh, what else? Oh, we've been playing Eisenhorn. Yeah, yeah. Eisenhorn, yeah. I'm, I'm a bit behind actually in your playthroughs of that. I'm about because you up to like what episode eleven now, maybe? Yeah. Probably. So, uh, well, by, uh, by the time this goes up, episode twelve will, will have come out, and episode twelve, I, I haven't gone through and edited the audio for that yet, but I'm pretty sure it's about twenty minutes of complaining. <laughs> it gets bad. Um, Not the, us, the game. Well, because okay, so. In hindsight, kind of looking uh, looking back about what, what's happened with that game. So we played through to a certain part, and what happened was you go and fight a space marine, a chaos space marine, mm-hmm. and halfway through that fight, the game abruptly cuts g- cuts to a cutscene. And of course, you're... I all- wouldn't... No, not halfway through, like 15, 10 seconds into it. Oh, no, I just, I just kicked his ass super quickly. Okay, yeah. guess he's really good at video games. No, no, that, that was it. I just happened to. It was just I happened to home in on on the guy that triggers it and just wail on him, okay, like, and like and do it quite well because I, I I had to go back and do it again later, and it took more. So it's, I think I was just I was just lucky. Um, but because you, chances are because you're still going to be moving around doing that when the cutscene starts, it triggers the thing that says, "Oh, do you want to skip this cutscene?" And the cutscene starts with like a, spa- a Chaos Space Marine running at you, and quick time events are a thing in the game. So as soon as that happened, and I suddenly saw space <laughs> appear on the screen, I thought it was a quick time event. It was a skip <laughs> the thing, and it event. was, and what it actually did was skip this four minute cutscene <laughs> that was absolutely cringeworthy. But it, but gave context to some of the shit that was going on. Um, so yeah, the next once we'd recorded the next whole the next part and. Honestly, even that aside, the game gets really fucking tedious. Um, yep. it, it went from being like adorably bad to just fucking terrible. Yeah, really. Quite quite a steep drop, actually. Yeah, but we went back afterwards, and because it turns out um, it's actually really easy to go back and play quite specific segments of the game. And Which is very lucky for us. Yeah, so we went back and, rec- and recorded that cutscene to put at the end of the part where we skipped it, so, you know. That's okay. That worked out. Um, but I did find out one thing. Um, 
Yeah, uh, it turns out there's a whole mechanic in the game that it never mentions, and you'd never know unless you clicked on a blank space. Which, right. you know, who fucking wouldn't? What, are you some kind of moron? Yeah, in your in your inventory, it was the sort of inventory where you can like upgrade your items and yeah. stuff, um, yeah, there is a blank circle. If you click on that blank circle, there's an accessory. Mm. Yeah, how did you not notice that on that completely unmarked, invisible button? Yeah, I mean, I guess it it did it does look like an empty space, but I just assumed that at a certain point you'd gain mm. an extra weapon. Yeah. Like I didn't even think to click on it because it was empty, and the other things have something in them by default to define what they are. Yep. But yeah, no, you can get things that like up your um, XP gain or not XP gain, up your like currency gain or up your damage output, things like that. And it's like, oh, okay, um, so what I did, because um, it's Eisenhorn, and I stopped giving a shit um, at some point around the time I accidentally skip a cutscene because it's designed badly, <laughs> um, I went I went back and actually went and ground out some coins so that we could, you know... Buy the fancy stuff. Buy some of the fancier stuff, so we can kind of show off some of the other weapons and, other, and these accessories that we didn't know were there um, for the next time we record, which will be like, uh, I think we're up to like episode... Dean recorded, yeah. so I think episode sixteen will be after you know where we'll record after that, yeah. so we'll be able to get that stuff. And I think there's only like an hour left of the game after that, but you know. Uh. Oh, that's been that's been a long. It started off really funny, and then it just got really annoying. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but one, yeah. One so day you should do that. a let's play of a game you like. People keep saying <laughs> that, and no, <laughs> you, know, you see the funny thing is of the. Five games? I think we've done... Yeah, five... One of them isn't on the internet anymore. No, well, no. Of the ones that are up, there's five Let's Plays we've got online. There's Kill Team, which is a kind of shitty game, but I... But it's kind of... I enjoyed it. Yeah, it was enjoyable to play. And then there was Jazz Punk, which I like. I like Jazz Punk. I like Jazz Punk. And then Way of the Samurai, which I really like. Yeah, that was ridiculous. And then there's um, Beyond Two Souls and Eisenhorn. Honestly, Beyond Two Souls and Eisenhorn are the only two full Let's Plays that we've done of something that we actually really don't like. Yeah. But, like, I mean... Admittedly, they are the longest. Yeah, a lot of people have been like, you guys, because what I did, what I've been doing is just... Like, what I did during the uh, Beyond Two Souls Let's Play is just constantly talk about Metal Gear, because you guys know me. That's all I do anyway. <laughs> yeah. And people are like, you should play Metal Gear 3. And I'm like, yeah, we should, actually. Yes. Let's do that. So we've just got to like, do a Let's Play of MGS 3. Well, we can do that after Eisenhorn if you want. Yeah, but I, I need to play through it again to make sure I don't suck. Because and it's hard to go back you don't to. Need to play and just through it to then play through it again. Yeah, people I do. would like to see you sucking at the. Hang on, wait, that sounds wrong. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> people would don't, like to don't see you finish that badly. sentence. And learning. Um, That's the thing, I know that game like the back of my fucking hand. It's just you Seriously, not, you, I can quote so much of that verbatim because I am just that much of a loser. But you've just not gone back to it much in the last ten years. I just haven't years. gone back to it much in the last ten fucking years, oh my god. That's true. Because when we were dating, you'd just hang out and you'd watch me complete Metal Gear games. Yeah. <laughs> why are we married? I, I don't, don't understand why you stayed around. I, I'm, I'm not sure, to be honest. That's why I was sitting there going, okay, now watch this. I fucking hate Naomi. Right. And you'll, you're about to see why. And then watch the cutscene and go, yeah, don't you hate her too? And you're like, I guess. Yeah, fucking whatever. <laughs> Can I leave now? And I'm like, no. No, because now we've got to talk to uh, to Master Miller, who isn't actually Master Miller. Spoilers. Yeah, spoilers. <laughs> I mean, yeah, at some point Stockholm Syndrome kicks in, right? I think, yeah, I think, that's, I think that's why we're married, basically. <laughs> I've, I've Stockholmed him into, like, giving a shit about, well, at least thinking he does. <laughs> And anyway, we've got to get a uh, we, we've got to get some more videos. To, I realised the other day, like it has been like a couple of months since a video has been on the channel of you actually playing a video game. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Just because we've we've played a bunch of stuff recently that's been either either would make like, me angry. Would either make you angry or like you don't is, want to see me angry, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> it's a game you see you angry I all the time. More. You don't want to see me proper like angry. How I properly get angry. <laughs> Like when we did that quick, like, uh, Sniper Whip play on Metal Gear Solid 1, and I got so angry at Sniper Wolf, you had to cut that whole sit bit out because you were sitting there going, I feel so uncomfortable. <laughs> yep. Because <laughs> that yeah. was originally going to be a Let's Play. It was. Metal Gear 1. And then I got so mad, we just couldn't do it. <laughs> yep. Hmm. Okay. Uh, also happened to the first version of our prototype video. Really? Yeah, because you played it and got so angry with it. Oh yeah. <laughs> and then so then we we went back the next day and I played it instead and we made a video. Yeah. That wasn't so that I wasn't try upsetting. To, I try to avoid video games that make me angry. 
well, really angry. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that's why I want to play through Metal Gear, like Metal Gear Three, first, just so I remember where everything is and I become really properly. Because it, it's just like riding a bike, you know. You go back to it, and after some like things catch on fire, and you've been screaming for twenty minutes, you start getting the hang of oh. it again. Well, the thing is, because you know the game, then you then it can be one of those sort of let's plays where you can kind of show off the the, the fun things that are in it, yeah. rather than being because it, it's not a blind one anyway. So. No, definitely not. I mean, I could play it, but no one needs oh, to see that. Yeah, the only Metal Gear game you've ever completed is four, and that's because you literally applied a master key to your main gun, ran around, and shotgunned fucking everyone. <laughs> uh, I'll fuck stealth. No. I think was the words you were screaming at full fucking volume. I did On that. On the tanker at the end, you literally upgraded a gun so much that they ran out of geckos to throw at you. The infinite spawn stopped spawning because <laughs> it realized you were fucking gaming the system. Yeah, I, 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 I had a rail gun, and yes. I was just one-shotting geckos. Yeah, and it was fucking ridiculous. You were just hanging out, you <laughs> fucking stayed there for so long, they just stopped spawning. You depleted the entirety of Liquid Ocelot's fucking army of ah, geckos. See, that's because it was only functionally infinite, not actually infinite. Don't yeah. you start with this functionally infinite shit again, oh my god. <laughs> fucking function... <laughs> Did we ever explain the functionally infinite sardines yeah, thing on the podcast? I think, I think oh. we did, and if we haven't, I don't think we should anymore. <laughs> yeah, just, just just put the phrase functionally <laughs> infinite sardines on the table and just walk yeah. out. And, figure, and everyone's going to be headcanoning. Why does it, <laughs> what does it like make Snipe irrationally fucking angry? Let me tell you, there is nothing irrational about that anger. <laughs> nothing at all. <laughs> fucking inf- functionally infinite sardines and cornflakes. Fuck all of you. Oh, to get uh, to to something that will make you less angry than the sardines. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, I well I say less angry. I'm not sure how this will go down. Um, Maybe if you get me so angry, I become like I just snap into a zen state. Okay, uh, Far Cry 5's uh, teaser image thing. Okay, yeah, that doesn't make me angry. Ooh, that I article I read I about it made this. me fucking angry. Okay, so yeah, Far Cry 5. Now I'm I'm quite a fan of Far Cry. I got into it about three because that's when I think it started getting really fucking good. Mainly because like. Vass was such a fantastic villain. Yeah. I won't use the word obsessed, but I mean, I didn't say obsessed. Uh, oh, you're yeah, you're I, saying obsessed. Yeah, yeah. you got well, quite I have into either it. two. I have two speeds, which is I'm okay with something, and this is literally my fucking yeah. life now. Yeah, that's that's true. I'm a very passionate person. Okay, <laughs> so yeah, Far Cry Five. They've released like a picture, uh, like a couple of pictures, and one is like like confirming the location, which is Hope Hope County, Montana. Okay. And then this image, which is, like, it's obviously a play on the, the Last yeah. Supper. Yeah. And you've got, like, a bunch of, like... They look like a bunch of, like, extremist fucking religious psycho hillbilly people. Yeah. So and they've got the American flag with actually, the Iron no, Cross. I'm not going to say that. upset people. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I, I know what you want to say. <laughs> yeah, I know what you want to say. And I think everyone else does, too. But we haven't said it, so you all can't get mad at us. <laughs> But yeah, so we've got all this stuff, which is. Oh, I, yeah. like wo- I like the I like the dog wolf. I like the dog wolf with the weird wolf, or is it like a husky type? At that size, that's that's a wolf. That's fucking huge. Yeah, well, I mean, assuming it doesn't have a tiny body below the table. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's no, like it a does. chihuahua underneath yeah, the table. It's literally, it's it's all fluff. <laughs> it's all fur. But yeah, so I'm kind of oh, looking at that, that's going. Cool. That's fine. Oh, I like these. It's, it's got it's... float plane. I like float planes. Got float plane. Yeah, but like I've got like. No problem with that. Like, you know, sure. I, I like the idea of it being set in America. Yeah, yeah that's cool. Kind of curious as to what they're going to do it, but my biggest complaint is that it's it's obviously following, like, a weird religious cult or something, mm. which is what Outlast 2's been doing and what Resident, Resident Evil 7 did, basically. Like, like, kind of weird, like, freaky hillbillies in the middle of nowhere, and it's kind of like, okay, that's... I mean, this is fine, but it just feels like that's quite a lot you for know, the past, like, mm, okay. year. Well, the fact that all these, th- those three games were presumably all in development at the same time mm-hmm. um, and are just now coming out because, you know, in terms of, like, scope and resources, that, that would kind of, you know, work out that they probably will start around the same time. I think yeah. it might have just been there was something in the air at that time and it just meant, well, like, three games based on a very similar thing kind of thing. Yeah, came exactly. And it's like, I'm interested in it, but at the same time, I'm kind of like, what really bugged me about Far Cry 4 was the story was kind of shit. <laughs> yeah, I was not massively keen on it. I think I played it hoping that it would be three again and it kind of, yeah, it was, no. it was, but in a bad way. <laughs> If that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, exactly. No, I completely yeah. understand because I mean, I, I completed the fourth one, 
Um, and I, I like the idea that they were trying something new with the whole pick a side mechanic yeah. of the story. Yeah, yeah. But the problem was both of them were complete arseholes. Yeah. And while there were occasional occasional times where they had a point where you could say, well, that was a bit of a moral grey area, it wasn't as often as I think it should mm. have been. Well, I mean, I guess to, to play devil's advocate on that, um, then having two sides you don't want, you don't agree 100% with either of them, and even quite often you don't agree with either of them, but you've still got to pick a side, that is an interesting story kind of yeah. thing. Yeah, no, 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 well, yeah. You're not wrong, but at the same time, it was just, I don't think it was executed fantastically. No, I think it would work better if each side you agree with, you know, more than just 10% of the time. It's like, well, I agree with one side 5% of the time, and the other side 7%, so I guess I'll go with them. Like, if it was, like, more 50-50, and then you could sway either way, but you still agreed with some yeah. quite a lot of the stuff. I mean, yeah, I sided with the woman, uh, like, for a lot mm. of it. Mainly because, like, there's, like, a, there's a little girl that hangs around with her, and she kind of, like, and mm. I kind of, like, I like the little girl, so I yeah, want, I want to make cool. a safe place for the little girl. I, I sided with the whichever one it was that didn't want to destroy all of her history. I can't remember. Uh, that's the guy, yeah, I, I think. I think I went him, because I was like, well, I mean, yeah, you can't just destroy all of the, like, monuments and things. That seems a bit, like, too yeah, far Yeah, whereas that she way. was like, blow them up. Blow them up! Fuck! 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 All these like mm. these dicks who are keeping I was like, tradition I don't want to. Like, there's a whole tradition with the kid and the thing they were doing to her. Okay, yeah, I don't agree with that. But also, I don't want to destroy everything. And I feel like that destroying everything is the less reversible of the bad choices. <laughs> I can't yeah. remember. I can't remember but, exactly because I mean, it's been a while. Uh, yeah, no. But I mean, I think that the the Far Cry games have always had a bit of a problem with um with that kind of thing, especially when they bring in new characters. Like, I mean, I guess I'm gonna have a a more kind of happier. Uh, memory of Far Cry 3 because that was kind of the first one I came into so I'm always going to have like rose tinted goggles with that one whereas Plus like, Fast characters like would be Paul, introduced so, I mean... <laughs> yeah no <laughs> he's one of our friends who just we looks, love that you, you've got a poor bubble head now because in my head it is just it's him it's not Vars <laughs> <laughs> oh god he doesn't but Paul doesn't have his mohawk anymore so Sorry, Harley Davidson happened <laughs> that's okay but yeah Paul doesn't have his mohawk anymore no, so he's not really no, Vars no, anymore no. But yeah, so, you know, like, I think, especially with Far Cry 3, like, Vast was such a surprise, and you could tell he was such a surprise yeah. with the way they handled him, and he was quite quite late on in the development. <laughs> what, you mean how he just disappears off with the game? Yeah, and you're like, <laughs> and then it's like, oh yeah, by the way, now you've got to chase after this guy who's just barely fucking seen. Yeah. Hoyt, his name yeah. was. It's like, and you're like, what? Oh, oh yeah, that, okay. Oh yeah, yeah the fine. actual buddy. And, yeah, and then, like, the latter half of the game is just fucking empty and bullshit. Um, but... Like, they tried that in Far Cry 4. They tried to make Pagan Min this overblown, like, oh, yeah, he's he's, he's Vast 2.0. It's like, just don't do yeah. that. Just don't fucking do it. And now with I'm looking at the main guy in the Far Cry 5 image, and I'm going, yeah, he could. you're just yeah. making... It's just going to be Vast 3.0, and it's not going to be as good. Do something mm. fucking different. Don't try and make it the same, because by doing that, you make it so much worse. Because Pagan Min, like, he had... He had potential to be cool. Well, it was a cool character. He, he had, voiced he had, very well. He vo yeah. voiced fantastically. Mm. But, you know, like, there was a couple of interesting kind of moments. But, like, in the in the introduction of it, when you get off the bus and he, like, he holds up the bus. Yeah. Um, and this is in Far Cry 4 with Pagan Men. And he, like, takes a selfie after, like, just <laughs> exploding and beating a guy up and being covered in blood. And it's like... Oh yeah, the kind of explosive like mood swings. Have, that's not exactly what Vast did and did a thousand times better. Sorry, hmm. you know it's it's like that. Just immediately, I was taken out of it because I was like, all right, yeah, you just want another iconic villain. Yeah, yeah that's that's kind of Ubisoft's problem all over, isn't <sighs> yeah, it? I really. did like that he didn't actually mean any harm to you. Like until you started fucking with his shit. Like he like with the like the alternate ending, with the whole. Hmm. You know, you know, at the start when he says like, "Wait, if, wait if, here for, yeah. wait, wait here wait for here. a bit. I'll be back." And if you do wait there, he just takes you to the grave to scatter the ashes, and then that's it. Yeah. And like, he doesn't mean and anything. I think you have to wait like 12, 15 minutes. Yes, yeah. yeah, it's about a quarter and, of an hour. And yeah, and then he's yeah, and because at the end of the game, if you don't do that, he just shouts at you, going, "If you did, just wait." Mm. Which is like, you know what? That is very yeah. Clever, like he just didn't like really that. want to fuck you over, but you started fucking mm. with him, so yeah. No, I, just, I, I, I like yeah. that as an idea, but they really didn't go very far with it. Mm. I think they could have pushed that angle angle of a of basically this despot who really didn't want to hurt you having to like punish you because you've been fucking with his stuff. But it was just kind of no, we wanna we wanna make him like Vast and make him shout. Mm. 
and barely have him in the fucking game. Well, that that is very accurate to Vast in that regard. Well, no, I know, but that was the problem, is mm. that I think Vast should have been in the whole game, and I've told you hundreds of times how I think it should have gone. Yes, yes. But I'm, you know, I'm not going to spoil it, but I'm just kind of, yeah, I'm looking at this guy going, you're just going to make him Vast again. I mean, I'm being very kind of dour, and I'm hoping they don't make the same mistake again, but I can't trust Ubisoft not to do that. Yeah. Well, look, I guess look at it this way. Ubisoft, in this kind of sense of the, them being hugely predictable with what they do... They, I mean, I can't even see one radio tower. I, oh, wait, no, there's the yeah, oh, there there a radio, radio tower in the background. Yeah, there's one in the background. Oh, and there's there a guard tower there as there well. We go. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> guard towers I have less of a problem with, but radio towers can fuck off. But the thing is... Uh, Especially Ubisoft... if there's full of bees. <laughs> yeah. And, yeah. <sighs> uh, but Ubisoft have been getting a little better. And by getting a little better, I think it's just that they finally started to notice the, the jokes about them. So mm. may... It took them fucking Yeah, so enough. maybe the, the tropes that we come to expect from Ubisoft of just being lazy, rehashing ideas and just mm. doing the same thing over and over again, maybe they might learn and try and put a bit more effort into this one. Because, I mean, say what you I like about so. um, about the Far Cry series of it, of them, them, Far Cry 4 just being Far Cry 3.5, basically. Well, I, I liked some of the gameplay in, like improvements. Yeah, but... Like, everything else was just Far Cry 3, but not as good. Mm. Yeah, um, but... Okay, but the uh, the weird side sequels that they've done, like the, the little spin-off games, Blood like Dragon Pri- was perfect. Yeah, like Blood Dragon. Primal and- was oh. apparently fine. Yeah, like Blood Dragon and Primal, they they were both. Even if you didn't like them, they were very interesting in what they were trying to do with what was fundamentally a big AAA kind of engine. Mm. I mean, the only one I've, I've you know the only Far Cry game I've ever beat is. Uh, is Blood Dragon. Because so. it's fucking phenomenal. Well, yeah, because the dumb shitness about it just, you know, made me want to <laughs> actually beat it. That's got Michael Bane in it, so, like, gotta love that guy. Bean. Bean. Not, not Bane. Michael Bay. No. <laughs> I'm talking about someone who has talent, please. <laughs> but yeah, so, like, because they're gonna, they're gonna, like, reveal a lot more about it next month at E3. Oh, nice. Which is, like, I'm gonna, I'm interested to see what they've got, because I like the idea of it taking place on American soil. But again, I, I don't want them to just... I don't want it to be just another kind of like, well, we're gonna go down the bayou and go stab a bunch of gators! Or whatever it is that fucking Resident Evil 7 was. <laughs> <laughs> I will say this about the poster. I do like all of their beards and hair combos. Yeah, <laughs> this is say, the thing. I feel I s- like I'd be siding with these guys if it wasn't for the religious side of things. <laughs> I mean, like I did see this... Um, like I read this. I read this one article about this. And I got so fucking mad because, like, oh yes, like look at all these rugged men with woolen button downs, and, and I'm just like, okay, what? And then like th- this person, they liken it to like, oh yeah, there was that horrible fucking like, basically domestic terrorist attack. That this is obviously probably something to do with, except no, it's not because this was in production way before that happened. So I guess it has nothing to do with it. Don't know why I brought it up. Yeah, it was a weird article that was being I, that... way more speculative about things than we are, and we're being really speculative <laughs> from we a are. poster. No, we absolutely are. This is the thing. This is all speculation. It's a fucking image. We know the location. We have we have one picture to go off. I'm not going to sit here and go, this is obviously talking about the... the like, it, it's a parallel for, for Greek history. You know, like the old gods and fucking... Like, I'm not going to say that, because I just don't fucking know. But this, mm. I feel that this person, like was maybe paid by the length of the article, the amount of fucking postulating and just, like, guesswork they put into it. Yeah, if you if you want to read the article in question, it's on The Verge. It's actually, like, the thing that comes up, mo- like, first at the moment, if you type yeah. in, like, Far Cry 5 poster, I think. I mean, like, no shade on this person. I just say, I think the article is just, like, what? <laughs> it's a fucking still image. How do you get all this? Yeah. But, yeah, it's just... <sighs> I, I remain... Hopeful, yeah. Because <laughs> you know, I, I like the Far Cry. I like the Far Cry setup. I like it. I will also advise don't pre-order this. Oh god, I was going to say yeah. Get we can get we can be hopeful, but don't be too excited. And whatever you do, do not do pre-order it. Not pre-order it. Don't do that. That's bad. I mean, I ain't, you, know, you do what you want with your money, but if you're pre-ordering it and then you sit there and go, none of this stuff works and it's terrible and I can't play. And it's not. You're basically giving them the money to yeah. do that with and no And it's not even just messing problems. it for you, because if enough people pre-order it, they'll be like, oh, we've made our money, let's not bother. So it's like, yeah. you're not even mm-hmm. making so, it bad for you, you're making it bad for everyone. Yeah, so just maybe cons- reconsider 
pre-ordering. <laughs> you see, I'm just waiting until they make Far Cry 5 Blood Dragon 2. <laughs> Electric boogaloo. Oh. And then I'll be happy. Yeah, but it's literally going to be primal with neon skins, because they'll think that's what sells. I'm not going to lie, neon cavemen is something I would totally play. <laughs> yeah, but, but Ubisoft will somehow make it bad. <laughs> How did they have radio you towers You know they primal? will. How no? did they have radio towers in Primal? I don't think they did. Uh, they would have had, they would have had them. They might have been skinned as something different, but they definitely would have had the equivalent mechanic, right? Maybe it was a treehouse. <laughs> yeah, I, I honestly don't think they were. There was radio towers in the crew, wasn't there? And that's yeah. cars. And that's, that's, a, that's a driving game. <laughs> <laughs> they just formed into like some sort of like giant car mech with like cars for legs and cars for body just so it can climb the tower. <laughs> See, that's better than the mental image I had, which is that cars where their wheels instead were human arms and legs. I, no, see, that's ruined it, because now instead of tyres, cars have giant human hands. <laughs> oh, that's what, the they best. just flap around? No, they just do, they kind of just like, they kind of wring their, their hands evilly and then climb things really purposefully. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's like a, a I've, weird... I've just, I've just got a VW Beetle in my head that's got human hands, like giant human hands, and it's just kind of like creeping along on its creepy hand, toe, finger tyres. Excellent. Uh, uh, it's not. It's so not. If, if you don't mind, I'm go- I'm going to talk about some stuff so we can okay. all forget that image you just put in our head. <laughs> you know what? That's fair. <laughs> well, hurry up then. Okay, so um, so what have, what have I been up to? Uh, yeah, so I, I put another um, sci-fi video on my, my channel. Uh, yes, I yes, liked yes, it. I saw. Um, Star Trek facts. Uh, I wanted to make something nice and simple to make myself feel better after my Space 1999 video got, you know, disallowed yeah. from YouTube. Basically fucked. Yeah, but it is up on um, on the VidMe link, and yeah, people seem to like it, so mm. so it's all good. So I put I put this video up. Do you want to guess how many days it was before I had a copyright issue? <laughs> One. Uh, it was about three. Oh. Um, it, not as bad. They just monetize it. Just Paramount mon- uh, monetized it. Um, what What did you have in it? It has some clips from shows that are like li- literally there as as something to demonstrate something that's ta- that's being talked about. It is the definition of fair use usage. But in order to fight that, you have to wager your channel as leverage. So. What's the fucking point? Because yeah, the it's... big, the big dick copyright holders are going to win anyway. Because YouTube's on their nuts all day. Yeah, I don't think I can. I, I honestly, because it's just been monetized. I really can't be asked to fight for that because that channel's not monetized anyway. So, like, it does bug me how it's just like, oh yeah, no, fuck you, we're, we're monetizing. But interesting thing it was, is, it was, it was, sorry. Interesting thing is, it's not been monetized by content id it was actually manually done which suggests there's someone paid by paramount to type in star trek into youtube and look for videos that have uh, and just look at star trek videos mm. all day long dream job yeah. yeah but then you can you imagine how much like many youtube poops and just garbage they have to sift through i i've seen youtube videos about star trek that have made me so angry Make so, you angry. So yeah, um, Christ. I, I wouldn't. Well, I wouldn't wish that job on anyone, honestly. <laughs> um, but regardless, the video the video's up. I'm I'm quite happy with it. As if if people uh, people seem to have enjoyed it, so I'll probably make some more I videos like, like that of just random pointless facts. Because um, I because fu- they're easy to make and you know quite fun yeah. to put together. Um, I'll, I'll in a moment. I'll I'll talk about um, what the next video will be about. Because I've been watching a new series because of it. Really? You're watching old sci-fi? Yeah, people no. like the sci-fi talk. No, I'm not complaining about sci-fi talk. I'm just shocked that you're watching old sci-fi. I know. It's just so out of character. <laughs> yeah, I did call it earlier when you said you started watch- you start- you've got something else to talk about. I was like, is this an old sci-fi show? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> um, but in, in-, in sci-fi shows and Overwatch skins, that is that should be the new name of the podcast. <laughs> okay, now listen here, you little shit. And also, Drummer Matt has absolutely nothing to say. <laughs> I'm sure there's a good, like... We'll come up with, like, an anagram for that. Not an anagram, what is it? With just, yeah, like, the acronym. Yeah, acronym, yeah. that's the one. Yeah, we'll come up with a good acronym. That's fine. <laughs> um, but in, in video game news, uh, I, I've, I've been playing uh, The Dishwasher, Vampire ah, Smile. Ah, yes, I saw your video. It looks... 
insane. It's yes. crazy, and it's, I honestly did not expect much of it with a name like that, but fuck me. Yeah, well, it turns out it's actually a sequel to a game called The Dishwasher Dead Samurai. Okay. Ooh, which what's is, that about? Which is also a very silly name. <laughs> it's an excellent name. It's, it's so stupid, it's kind of, it goes round and becomes awesome. Yeah, again. yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so if you haven't seen the video yet, and you should go watch the video, because I think it's quite good. Or at the very least, um, watch it and then go, I like this game, and go buy the game, because it's quite good. Yeah, yeah. Um, is sort of a, a, a 2D hack and slash sort of game. Very interesting style. Yeah. Hyper violent. Crazy violent. Crazy fucking violent. But you can't really see what's going on, but that actually kind of works for it. Yeah, because I think if you could really closely see what was going off, you'd notice that the animation and stuff is a bit wonky. Mm-hmm. But because it's kind of so hyper kinetic and blood and blur and everything. And screaming. It, it kind of works. The voice acting is good too, with, with the screaming. You mean, you mean the shouting? It has, the good, shouting. Sh- it has yeah. good shouts. I like I like the ooeys, what they've got. But yeah, the thing is, uh, the game's actually from 2011. It was an Xbox arcade game. Mm, so it's way fucking older than we thought. Because it's only just come out on Steam. And because it's made by uh, Scar Studios, um, who were the people that made Salt and Sanctuary, which is their dark, 2D Dark Souls-y kind of game. Uh, okay. And if you remember rightly, they're a husband and wife team. Which is um, weird. And they're, and they're called Scar Studios, so, you know, I... I mean, like, honestly, A, who listens to Scar music, and B, who fucking teams up with their husband or wife? Like, I know. God, that's weird. So, and you're literally wearing a planet, like, a fucking Planet Smasher shirt. Is, oh, Scar's in SKA. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I was thinking Scar was in Lion King Dad. Not Dad. No, no. no. Lion King Dad. No, not Dad. Lion, King. Lion King Dad murderer. Yeah. Or Lion King Uncle. Yeah. I, was, mm-hmm. I, I said Uncle or after I said Dad. Or are you suggesting... Do you have a head cannon for the Lion King you want to share? <laughs> I, no, I do not. Not that, not that I want to share. <laughs> because, because if if you do, we we can talk later. Okay. okay. <laughs> just, just just tell me later. We'll be fine. Uh, but yeah, I, I can totally say it is it is really really worth playing it. I, I played a bit more of it now, and um, from what you saw in the video, uh, you've been washing so many dishes. I with have. Your smile. I've played the other character because you can play as the. I think it's the prisoner. I think her name is Yuki. Yeah, or the dishwasher. Or the dishwasher, who's the character He's from the, the first dishwasher. game. He's the dishwasher. He washes dish. What is the reason behind the name dishwasher? I think it tells you in the first game. Ah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I'm not sure. I th- he's he has a friend called Chef. So I'm wondering if he just worked in like a restaurant or something originally. See, my brain just put know. Chef from South <laughs> yeah, Park in there. <laughs> 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 oh my god! And that's just suddenly like I have to play the first game now <laughs> and be massively disappointed. <laughs> but yeah, because the thing is, like, uh, where, like the the actual main character of it. When when we were playing it, it was like I don't I don't want to play as him because the other character is is a chick with a with a katana, a cloud strife sword, a chainsaw for a hand who has like electric blood magic, mm-hmm. and a cat and a, with, and with a, bat wings and a bat a cat with bat wings that follows her around. Like I I, do, I don't see why I would pick another character over that. Oh, also she can play the violin and it sounds like an electric guitar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's pretty excellent. Yeah, that's. I don't know what that is, but I think it's great. <laughs> yeah, it's. It, it's. Um, I mean, obviously, there are certain elements of it that are not like super high quality because it's you know it's an old Xbox arcade game, so like the the art is intentionally, admittedly, a little unrefined in places. There's very minimal voice acting, really just um, characters, you know, um, vocalising attacks and pain, that's about it. And the music is very obviously home recorded. That's not to say that it's bad. But it's it's, it's kind of quaint, but mm. all those things that are, that are less than AAA, for want of a better term, are made up for because the game feels fucking great. Good game feel. Like you would not expect it to feel so solid, because that's what that's what I was most surprised about with it. Because the kind of like hyper violence of it is one thing, but that it feels so good to do. Because there's plenty of games that are you know full price, big budget releases that don't feel this good. That that have such refined controls. Mm. I mean, it's not you know it's still 
it, it's it, it, for for the sort of game it is. It's one of the better games that I've I've played, and it, that just really kind of shocked me. Well, no, I think it just speaks volumes about Scar Studios, like giving a fuck. Yeah, because yeah. like they've like the Salt and Sanctuary, like that game was good. Yeah, it was really and, cool. Yeah, it's like yeah, like the 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 art of it wasn't again. There was you know some problems you could have with the uh, with the creative elements of it visually, but everything else was fucking solid. Yeah, it's making me want to go and play um, their other games. So I think there's Charlie Murder. Is I think one of the other ones they do. That sounds like them. Yeah, which I think is, <laughs> if I remember rightly, that's like a uh, side-scrolling brawler. And there's the obvious, the first dishwasher game. So I might, I might have to try and uh, track these things down. I think I, I don't know if the first dishwasher has been put on Steam, but I, I think Charlie Murders ended up on well, Steam. Well, I as think well. with the the positive kind of reactions, because like I was talking to a mate the other day, and he was like, "Oh yeah, that one. Yeah, that's that's awesome. You not heard of that?" I'm like, "No, apparently I live under a rock." <laughs> but no, like I think especially because you know putting it on Steam, I think a lot of people will be like, "This is really good. Can we have the first one, please?" And yeah. then that'll probably be put on in turn. Mm. Yeah, I mean the first one might be on. Steam. Steam, I just don't remember seeing it. Mm. So, but no, so that's that's good. I uh, can can recommend that. Um, the only other thing I've got really to talk about is um, I I've been doing uh, intense research. Okay, Re- uh, mm. okay. research. Okay, mm. research uh, for new videos uh, to videos. do to do for my little side channel. Little side <laughs> channel um, on Pornhub. <laughs> One of which involved me. It's what... called. Please tell me you've got a video coming up for Pornhub called Let's Wank. <laughs> Wasn't there? Was it? Oh, was it Benzai that used to do a Let's Fap series of like yeah. porn games? Yeah, good old Benzai. <laughs> um, but no. Uh, so, so I've been researching videos. Which there's there's one that involved me watching a bunch of Pokemon. So that was interesting. Excellent. Um, but I won't go into that because that that needs to be a surprise for people. Well, right, I mean, you 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 you've to- told them about it now, right? Well, I mean, in you guys got to act surprised. But yeah. I mean, what the video will be about? Uh, okay, right. Pokemon. Yeah, it's not just about Pokemon okay, in general. Fair. It's it's literally just Matt sitting there singing the Pokemon theme tune drunkenly. I I I'd watch that. <laughs> I would also watch that. Oh, fuck, I'd okay, edit that. Needs that. To be okay, need to edit it. <laughs> okay, so what we what we need is we need a, to get a GoFundMe together to send me to Japan so I can go to a Japanese karaoke cafe. Are you sure maybe we couldn't just buy a karaoke machine? No, this is the or only way it'll work. Get on YouTube and find the karaoke version of the Pokemon theme, which I'm fairly sure exists. No. Mm-hmm. Oh, come, are you telling me that a video like that would not be massively improved by it being in a room full of Japanese businessmen? I mean, well, yeah, okay, yes, yes. Okay, are, See? You, are you dressed up as Misty? In this, uh, uh, fat, yeah. not fantasy. Hey, if people are paying me to go to Japan, I'll wear whatever the fuck they want. <laughs> okay, guys, we really need to do this. This is like really important. <laughs> actually, I will link the GoFundMe in the description. Okay. The totally real GoFundMe. The totally real GoFundMe. Okay, but seriously, if you see if you see a GoFundMe, that's not us. Don't give it money. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just realised how fucking dodgy that is. <laughs> no, we won't be doing a GoFundMe, but I still want you to like, like if we like. Like in twenty seven thousand years from now, when we get up to like a th- like like ten thousand subscribers, a hundred thousand subscribers, you should dress up as Misty and sing the Pokemon thing. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, you know, at a hundred thousand subscribers, that thing that will probably never happen. Yep. Then okay, I will sing the Pokemon theme dressed as Misty. Excellent. And not not half arsedly dressed, like proper. No proper yeah. misty okay. cosplay. Okay. I want to see. I want to see hot pants. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I'm. I'm down for that. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> you watch. Like the next week, people will be like, "Right, you fucker," <laughs> and then get us to a hundred thousand, and it will be the most fucking horrible moment of your YouTube career. It won't be because you have no shame. I have you no died sh- a long time ago. I have no shame, and I lost all use for my dignity a long time ago. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, the, the other thing um, to, that I, I was researching, and by researching I mean just watching, um, was I started watching Blake 7. Is that mm. an old sci-fi? That is an old sci-fi. It is a... I think it was on the BBC. I do not know that one at all. Oh, really? The BBC, the so. British Broadcasting <laughs> Corporation. It's um, It's been around for a long time, actually. <sighs> Could you sigh any more aggressively, please? Because that, that sounded like three progressively angry sighs. 
So, Blake 7 was a sci-fi release, and I think it was 1978, and it ran till 1981, I think. Okay. Quite a long run. It had four seasons. Yeah, dang. Um, It was created by a guy called Terry Nation, who's the the writer who invented the Daleks and wrote, I think, pretty much all the old Doctor Who Dalek stories. Oh, okay. Cool. And... Yeah, it's fucking bleak. Mm. <laughs> Which, it, it's British, so... Yeah. yeah um, the British have a great kind of streak for bleak. So the basic outline of the plot is there is a guy called Blake who had led a rebellion against the evil Federation. Ooh, um, no, not the Federation. And whilst he... Basically, he, everything kind of fucked up and um, they mind-wiped him um, and got him to renounce his ways and then mind wiped him again so he didn't remember anything and then just put him in the uh, the general populace because they thought it, if they could get the rebel leader to just kind of join them and work as a regular person that would demoralize the rebels more than just killing him okay it's like okay that's that's cool that's um, and then he's and then um the 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 kind of rebels kind of get hold of him again and Try and basically try to get him involved and say, "Look, everything you've been told is a lie. Um, this is what they've done to you. It's really fucked up. Like the family you think you have, they killed them long ago." Um, and he's like, "Oh shit!" And then the I like the other going, "Oh shit!" Yeah, <laughs> and then uh, the but, scene changes. <laughs> but then the Federation find out, and so they arrest him again, and then he has to in, and so he gets sent off to a prison planet because they know again if they just kill him, then he becomes a martyr. So. Um, and then he escapes, and they find a special ship, uh, like a fancy, super futuristic ship, and he gets a small crew together, um, and they they go and have adventures trying to take down the Federation. But the uh, the part that I think is probably the way to define exactly how fucking bleak this setting is, is that in the first episode, the very first episode of the show, once they've re- once the Federation have found out that Blake has been getting involved with the traitors again. And they they recapture him. They're like, okay, how can we we ruin him? Okay, let's let's charge him with the worst thing we can think of, so we can send him off to a prison planet, and no one would dare think of him as a hero. So they they basically charge him with messing with kids. Ooh. Oh, oh, um, that, oh, that's yeah. fucking grim. The worst part is because we've established in this setting they can mess with your mind and memory. Oh. They actually put that memory in a bunch of kids. Oh. <laughs> Like fucking hell! Oh, fuck me, dude. It's, you do sit there and go, okay, <laughs> okay. So the Federation are evil. They don't have my sympathy. Fucking yeah. hell! Yeah, no shit. Well, yeah, they're the bad guys. Yeah, yeah. They, um, yeah. They said there's no ambiguity there. It's like, okay, yeah, fine. Yeah. <laughs> it's just one of those things where you're like, where you're watching it and you go, wow, I did not see them going there like if they made the show a show like that now then you'd then it wouldn't shock you so much but the fact is from 1978 Mm. like you kind of assume that in a lot of those kind of regards they wouldn't push those boundaries quite as far but yeah Yeah. they they just went to fucking 11 yeah like who dang (laughs) and that's that's sort of i mean the, the show has some it does have its problems um like that you know the the special effects are fucking terrible and the se- some late seventies. Yeah, I mean, um, I mean, compared. It's a TV show, so. It, I mean, compared to the last seventies TV show I talked about, Space Nineteen Ninety Nine, mm. it looks like fucking dog shit. Oh, yeah. Dang. Um, it looks fucking terrible. Um, but the ca- but the actual writing is really quite good, and the characterizations are really good. Like, there's a, there's a character called Avon in it who is this. I think he's like a computer hacker who ended up in the, this, this like, prison ship and ended up on Blake's side just because it helped him get away. And he, and he sells makeup on the side as well. Uh, oh, just, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a way to make ends meet. Avon Colin. <laughs> but he's he's such a <laughs> dick, like, all well, the yeah, time. Yeah, because like, he'll just keep showing up to your door going, buy my makeup, and you're like, mate, no. But no, it's, the thing is, he's... He's always snapping at Blake. He's all he he's well, yeah, like because he thinks he's a fucking kitty fiddler. No, no, they know he's not. Okay, then that's fine. No, they uh, like the group that he's with know that Blake isn't at all. Okay. Is there seven? Is there seven of them on his crew? Is that why why it's Blake seven? There's six of them, including Blake. Including so Blake. Is the spaceship um, an extra one? 
Yes. Oh, okay. okay. Oh. <laughs> well, the AI <laughs> yeah, that's on okay, the ship. Yeah. Actually, okay, I think I think okay. it's um, it's seven if you include Blake, but they don't. Um, the, the, but the ship's computer is counted as one. It's okay. kind of weird. Yeah. Okay. Oh, fair enough. Fair enough. Um, yeah, the character character of Avon is written really well. I can't. It's one of those annoying ones because he's just kind of snide all the time. It's <laughs> kind of hard to remember exactly what like one like snide comedy's made. Um, but there, but there's. Um, there's a few really good lines that stuck with me from other characters. Like, there's a bit where they land on a planet and there's these weird, f- warm, fleshy plant things. And Drummer one of them's Man? like. Not Drummer Man, no. Because he's kind of like a fleshy mm. fern. And someone. T- <laughs> Every room needs one. Oh, I think that's sweet. <laughs> oh. If it's not, oi. <laughs> Delete is appropriate. If it's not, I'll fight you. Mm. <laughs> but then someone touches it and they're like. Oh, that's, that's horrible! And, and Blake turns around and goes, "Oh, you have to be careful. Some of the plants on this planet are carnivorous, and some of them are even have an intelligence rating." And the guy just looks at it and goes, "Well, that's a relief. I'd hate to be eaten by something stupid." <laughs> that is so something you'd say. <laughs> <laughs> and the thing is, it got. I only really knew about the show through it being referenced as being crap. Because it was kind of a punchline for a while as being like the archetypical cheap TV sci-fi where everything's every it's like badly written, poorly put together, and it's like, well, yeah, the the special effects are a bit crap, and you know that that side of it, it's very dated by today's standards. But like to just write it off as being like just this piece of shit is like, well, it's really not. It's actually quite good in places. So like, yeah, you have to kind of suspend your disbelief a bit with some of the effects, but. It's a fucking show from the seventies. What do you expect? Yeah, um, yeah. So yeah, um, may all be on YouTube potentially. I, I, I have no idea if that's the case. Um, <laughs> <clears throat> Who knows? And I'm sure that if you did like a review of it, it would probably be banned from Prob- YouTube. Yeah, probably immediately for some reason. Uh, I'm, I may just do the sensible thing, and before I before I start writing anything, actually just upload upload in a private video a bunch of it. Yeah. Um, to see if it gets flagged. Mm. Yeah. Um, just so I don't end up wasting my time. It's, no, this is true. It makes no sense. It's already on YouTube. I know. Mm-hmm. I know. <sighs> but anyway, yeah. If if um if that sort of sounds like something you might be interested to watch, yeah, just, just watch it on YouTube. It's pretty good. Not that um, we promote that. No, we promote thing, it. Yeah. But it's it's pretty good. It's pretty good. I, I I've been enjoying it. Um, well written. Um, also has Brian blessed in like episode oh, three. So nice. that's that's I'm enough. Sold. You know to watch it. It takes him about four lines before he starts shouting wildly. So, you know, that's pretty Excellent. good. Oh, that's why we love our Brian. Yeah. Uh, but now I've bored you with uh, with sci-fi talk. Um, do you want to wrap up this podcast for today? You want me to do it? Well, you can if you want. Well, I can do. You can hey, let Matt, Matt do it. Drama Matt, how about you wrap up the podcast? Um, yeah. All right. Uh, You're our favourite flesh uh, 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 <laughs> S- Screaming. screaming. So how would Mima do it? She'd probably just scream. <laughs> <laughs> hey! <laughs> How fucking day! <laughs> I only do that ninety nine percent of the time. Um. Well, thank you for listening, everyone. Hope we've interested you a little bit with our inane ramblings. Um. Bye. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was good, and then you immediately started panicking. <laughs> yeah, I panicked. That's okay, that's okay. You know what, that was really good for a first try. Okay, oh, Everyone you. tell Jerome about how good that was, because we're all very proud of him here. <laughs> that sounds really patronising, but it wasn't meant to be. No, that's no, fine, I deserve it. Okay, do you want me to sign off properly? <laughs> yes, please. Ah! <laughs>